Hi guys, I'm doing a voiceover for this project because it would be really hard to explain everything otherwise. The main component for this etcher is an old AC adapter that I'm taking apart right now. If you want to make this, you need to find one of these old adapters with a big transformer inside. You can visit your local thrift store and pick one that feels heavy if you need to buy one. Here we must solder two wires to the transformer. It should be easy to see where to solder, because these are the only two wires that connect the transformer to this board. Later I will explain why we need them. These two are the wires for the mains voltage. I'm extending them so that I can test the transformer. Now I'm ready to test if everything works. With a multimeter I can identify positive and negative. The two wires that we soldered earlier deliver AC voltage and the other two DC. To see how this will work I'm making a simple stencil with nail polish on a scrap piece of 1070 steel. Positive must be connected to the piece of steel and negative is locked in a nut covered with cotton and soaked in salt water. So, now I can explain how it works and show you all the component I use. You know already this is the transformer. And here is where we solder the two additional wire for the AC current. From here we go to the mains voltage. So we add a simple switch to power the device on and off. I want to include a fan inside the etcher to keep everything cool. And to power it, I can use a common 5V adapter from a smartphone charger. This fan has a small LED, so I will recycle that as a power indicator. The last component is this 3 position switch that will be used to change between AC and DC current. This switch has 6 pins. The 2 on the middle gets connected to the 2 on the left or on the right, depending on the position. So we can connect the four wires coming from the transformer to the side spins like so. And the two on the middle to the clip and the pad to etch the metal. With this three position switch we can now etch with DC current and mark with AC that will blacken the etched surface with carbon. Now that I have all the dimensions of my components I can design a simple enclosure to 3D print.
And yeah, at this point I decided to paint my box black. To secure the components, I use hot glue. And here I'm extending the wires for the fan power supply. This is the LED that I want as a power indicator. This nice connector that are called banana plugs. And this one is an alligator clip. The pad has a piece of wood to hold it. And a 5mm steel plate secured with a bolt and nuts. All this is covered with felt. And it needs to be damped with salt water before use. <laughs> 